he's a fantastic pedigree. He's by Teofilio. I'm sure he's going to be extremely popular at stud. His temperament was A1 and he had bucket loads of ability. When he won his Group 1, it was actually the simplest of, of Group 1 wins in the, in the Jean Pratt. He beat the French 2000 Guineas when they got his revenge and, and made it look very easy. And that probably was his utmost attribute. He, he made things look very easy. It was a pleasure to deal with every day. And I have to say, it was extremely easy to train. He never had a problem in his life. They're off and racing. A grandson of the mighty Galileo, Havana Gold started his racing career with wins at Newmarket and Ascot. Havana Gold will make it two out of two. Then to a listed event at Deauville, where he was desperately unlucky. Uh, Ryan said he, he jumped through his girths at the start. And it shows the testament of the horse that he, he almost had the race won on, until finally the saddle went. He had the French guineas win a star von Dom behind him. I think he won the race in the end, but he was going to win. I don't think anybody could deny that. Um, he was probably two lengths clear and, and going away when the saddle did slip. Reputation enhanced in defeat. Havana Gold went on to win a listed event at Haydock before success in the Group 3 Somerville Tattersall Stakes at Newmarket. When he won at Newmarket, we were very pleased. It's obviously a race won by some very nice horses in the past, and he looked like he was going to emulate those, and, and he duly did so. Just over a week later, Havana Gold finished his two-year-old season in the Tattersall's Millions, in his third race in a month, where he would lose by just a head and clear of the field. At three, after finishing second to future Kipco Sussex Stakes winner Toronado in the Craven Stakes, Havana Gold then went to Longchamp for the French 2000 Guineas. Because of the draw, he had to give the leaders a good start. He made a huge effort to get to the front and showed his sheer class to go, go from almost last turn for home to hit the front 100 yards out and just get run out. Given how the circumstances before the race, I think he did very well to get as close as he did. And after finishing fourth in the Irish 2000 Guineas, it was to Shanti for the deserved Group 1 success in the Prix Jean Pratt. To me, he never looked like getting beaten in the race. He travelled lovely all the way round. He seemed to enjoy the bend. Stayed a mile well, but had plenty of speed to win at 6 and 2. So Jean Pratt, basically, it all came together that day for him and everything went smooth and he got up and won close home. It was actually the, probably the simplest of Group 1 wins you could get. He looked a different class that day and it was great to see him win because he fully deserved that Group 1 success. Now he stands at Tween Hills Farm and Stud in Gloucestershire. Havana Gold, standing at Tween Hills Farm and Stud.